What's up guys, welcome back to All Wings Everything. Yes, you already know, y'all back in my kitchen with your boy Spinelli, and we got another delicious, easy recipe. We like to keep it simple around here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a Wisconsin butter burger. Now, many of you have probably never even heard of a Wisconsin butter burger, but listen, now is the time. First time for everything. You're gonna love it. I'm not gonna say anything else. Just stay tuned. I hope you're in your kitchen. I'm already in mine, so let's go. All right, so here are the ingredients we're gonna use for today's recipe. Let me go ahead and do a roll call. So we're gonna use some kosher salt, some onion powder, black pepper, garlic powder, some butter, of course, our buns, our ground beef, onions, I'm gonna use some uh, steak salt. I'm gonna use some steak seasoning here, cumin, paprika, and of course our cheese. Now guys, you don't have to use these dry seasonings to, all these dry seasonings here to uh, season your ground beef. You could just use salt and pepper, that's fine. But this is the way I like to season my burgers regardless of what type of burger I'm making. I usually put these uh, seasonings in there. I've said this before. So these are the ingredients guys. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so I've measured out our ingredients. Let me tell you what I have here. So right here, I have about a pound of ground beef. I have a fourth of a teaspoon of cumin, fourth of a teaspoon of paprika, fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. I have a half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of salt. And right here, I have a teaspoon of our steak seasoning. Right here, I have four slices. Actually, I got eight slices of cheese right here, but we're gonna only use four buns but they slice these uh, pieces of cheese really thin. So I'm gonna use two slices for each, um, each burger. Right here I have a, a medium onion uh, chop right here. And right here we're gonna use eight to 10 tablespoons of butter. I'm just gonna leave it here in this container instead of putting it in the dish. And right here I'm gonna use four buns right here, four burger buns. So guys, these are the ingredients. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, of course, is start to season our beef. So we're just gonna start adding our dry ingredients in here. So we're gonna start with our garlic powder here, our onion powder, our salt, cumin, black pepper, and our smoked paprika. And no, I'm not gonna use my steak seasoning at the moment, and I'll show you where I'm gonna use that at. So we're gonna go ahead and get this mixed up like this. All right, this is what we have. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure it out into four, um, four burgers and I'll be right back. All right, so here we have our four beef burgers here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my handy dandy uh, hamburger presser and we're going to press these burgers out here like this. That's what we have guys. And look at that, nice, nice. These things really come in handy when you want your burger to be even like this. So. Let's go ahead and do the other one. Let me get these done, guys, and I will be back in a moment. All right, so we have our four patties already pressed out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these sit in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes while we go ahead and prepare uh, the other ingredients, all right? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is start preparing our onions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna melt two tablespoons of butter over medium heat. Next, we're gonna add our onions. And we're going to cook this over this medium heat and we're going to add two tablespoons of water. And what we're trying to do is we just want to get these onions softened. We're not trying to really brown them or cook them, you know, um, cook them heavily. We just want to get them really, really soft, which is going to bring out that flavor. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover this up for about five minutes and we're going to allow this, uh, the onions to kind of steam. All right. And guys, let's add a little salt, about a, about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt on these onions while they cook. All right, guys, we are five minutes in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our heat down a little bit. And we're gonna allow these to cook uncovered just until they're almost turning brown like right now for another one to two minutes. And then we're gonna pull them off. Kind of moving them to the side because it's more it's hotter in the middle of the pan based on this cooktop. 
All right, so it looks like we're there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and pause our heat. Gonna pull these onions off of here, put them back in a dish. So guys, this is what it should look like right here. All right, so let's move on. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take more butter. Guys, remember, <laughs> this is a butter burger. So we're gonna take two tablespoons of butter for each bun. I know that seems like a lot, guys, but hey, that's what this is how you make these Wisconsin butter burgers. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna spread that butter on there just like that. Like that. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them. Remember, two tablespoons of butter for each bun. Yeah, if you're watching your cholesterol, this is not the good re the recipe for you. See, that's two tablespoons of butter. And what we're gonna do is we're going to spread that butter on it just like that. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna heat a teaspoon of vegetable oil. I'm gonna add another tablespoon of butter and we're gonna get this baby up to temperature. And once it's up to temperature, we're gonna start adding our patties. Guys, we're gonna let them cook about one, about two minutes without turning them over. Then after two to three minutes, then you can flip them over. And before we do that, what we're gonna do, we're gonna introduce, that's why I got this steak seasoning, guys. Now, I like to add this to the top of it, and that's just to help bring out more flavor of this burger. When we add this steak seasoning on the top like this, like I say, that's just additional. You don't have to do that, but I like it because it adds a little bit, makes, it brightens up that flavor and that meat just to have that additional steak seasoning. So we're gonna cook this for about one or two minutes on both sides. And remember guys, you can cook this to your doneness. You know, some people like it well done, some people like medium, medium well, rare, whatever you wanna do, cook it to your doneness. So you flip it when you feel like you need to flip it. But typically if you want it around um, medium well, well done, two to three minutes on both sides. All right, so I'm gonna give these babies a quick flip. Man, they smell good too. And you could come back on the top of these with a little bit more of that seasoning. Remember we had like a teaspoon? We just had a little bit more of that seasoning. All right, I'm gonna give this another quick flip. All right guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're, start, we're gonna start adding our cheese. Start adding that across the top like that. And we're just gonna cook it to it, we allow it to melt. Use that's about a couple of seconds. And at this point I start reducing my heat and kind of just let it, just kind of let that cheese just sit on there. Cause it'll, it'll, tip, it'll end up melting on its own if you just turn your heat off. But I like to let it get down a little bit and then I start turning my heat off like right now. And we're gonna allow it to just finish melting. All right. So this is what we have. So what, once this cheese melted, we're gonna move over here to our um, buns and start building our burger. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna start building our burger now. So we're gonna take our meat, add it to the bottom of our bun like that. Now we're gonna take our onions. Yeah, we're just gonna add our onions just like that. And at this point, we take our bun like this and we press it down over those onions. And the thing is, guys, the heat from that burger and the onions, it's going to melt that butter. And guys, that's what you come up with right there. And there you have it, guys. The Wisconsin Butter Burger. There is no need to put this baby on the spinner right here. Because, man, look at that. Look at those onions just falling off that. Take a look at that. Man, I know y'all ready for quality control because I am. So guys, the measurements and ingredients are all in the video description below. So go ahead, check it out. Guys, you wanna make this burger. I can't wait to bite into it. Also, thank you for everybody who's supporting the channel. Also bought that ebook, also getting that merch. Everything, guys, I really appreciate everybody who joined the channel membership. Appreciate that. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. If you wanna know how to support the channel, that's one way to do it. So until then, guys, let's go ahead and get into quality control because I am ready. All right, guys, the moment we have all been waiting for QC quality control on this Wisconsin Butterburger. Guys, let me show you what this looks like. Guys, look at that. 
Now, if you've never had a Wisconsin Butter Burger, I don't know what you're waiting on. Man, whoo. Hey, I'm not gonna even take, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into this baby right here. Man, this baby looks good. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm, mmm. Man, guys, this is delicious. Mmm, that butter. Guys, listen. I didn't say this is a healthy burger. I said it's a good burger. So don't get in the comments talking about, oh, that's too much butter, man, your cholesterol. Shut up. I told you in the video it takes about eight to 10 tablespoons of butter to cook, to make this recipe if you're making it like people in Wisconsin make it, all right? So guys, if you want to do have a cheat day or you want to raise your cholesterol for maybe a day, try this Wisconsin Butter Burger. Man, this thing is delicious. So guys, thank you for everything. I'm gonna go ahead and get to this burger because I don't want to waste too much time. Thank you for all the support. Pick up the ebook. And until the end, I'm your cook, Spinelli. Always everything. And yes, I'm out. Peace.